the check in a glory. Now when Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priests could not enter the house of the Lord, because the glory of the Lord filled the Lord's house. All the sons of Israel, seeing the fire come down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, bowed down on the pavement with their faces to the ground, and they worshipped and gave praise to the Lord, saying, Certainly he is good, certainly his faithfulness is everlasting. Sacrifices offered. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifice before the Lord. King Solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty-two thousand oxen and one hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. The priests stood at their posts, and the Levites also, with the musical instruments for the Lord, which King David had made for giving praise to the Lord, for his faithfulness is everlasting, whenever David gave praise through them in a stree. The priests on the other side blew trumpets, and all Israel was standing. Then Solomon consecrated the middle of the courtyard that was before the house of the Lord, for he offered the burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings there. Because the bronze altar which Solomon had made was not able to contain the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the fat. The Feast of Dedication. So Solomon held the feast at that time for seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great assembly that came from the entrance of Hermath to the brook of Egypt. And on the eighth day they held a solemn assembly because they held the dedication of the altar for seven days, and the feast for seven days. Then on the twenty-third day of the seventh month he sent the people to their tents, rejoicing and happy in heart, because of the goodness that the Lord had shown to David, to Solomon, and to his people Israel. God's promise and warning. So Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's palace, and successfully completed everything that he had planned on doing in the house of the Lord and in his palace. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. If I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send a plague among my people, and my people who are called by my name humble themselves, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer offered in this place. For now I have chosen and consecrated this house so that my name may be there forever, and my eyes and my heart will be there always. As for you, if you walk before me as your father David walked, to do according to everything that I have commanded you, and keep my statutes and my ordinances, then I will establish your royal throne as I covenanted with your father David, saying, You shall not lack a man to be ruler in Israel. But if you turn away and abandon my statutes and my commandments which I have set before you, and go and serve other gods and worship them, then I will uproot you from my land which I have given you, and this house which I have consecrated for my name I will cast out of my sight. And I will make it a proverb and an object of scorn among all peoples. As for this house, which was exalted, everyone who passes by it will be astonished and say, Why has the Lord done these things to this land and to this house? And they will say, Because they abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, who brought them from the land of Egypt, and they adopted other gods, and worshipped and served them. Therefore he has brought all this adversity on them.